okay so students now i am here with one more problem on transportation problem solving for the optimal solution so uh, we have solved problems uh, before uh, regarding the uh, optimality in the transportation problem so here you are given the cost matrix so supply and demand factors are given so cost is given so now what i do is first i have to arrive at the initial basic feasible solution using the northwest corner method so we know that what we do in the northwest corner method is we start from the first cell right so you compare the supply and the demand so 30 is the least one so 30 is uh, uh, allocated in this particular cell so 0 and 10 here so still we have uh, 10 that can be allocated so compare this with this so 10 is the least so so here we are we are left with only 20 so coming down here 20 and 30 if we compare 20 is the least value so here we are left with 0 and here we are left with 10 so here compare 10 with 15 10 is the least so here uh, we are left with 0 so coming down here 10 is already allocated so we are left with only 5 here so this cell is uh, now we are done with this particular row so coming down here i can allocate 5 so here i have 0 and here i have 15 so coming down next it is uh, uh, 15 15 and 20 if i compare 15 is the least so this 15 so 0 then uh, here i have left with uh, 5 so I can allocate 5 here so finally 5 so I arrive at the basic initial basic feasible solution applying the northwest corner method after doing this we have to work out the uh, uh, next step right so before that let us calculate the number of allocations so number of allocations should be equal to m plus n minus 1 so this is number of rows this is number of columns so 4 plus 4 minus 1 so number of allocations if i count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 is a number of allocations so 8 is equal to so here uh, sorry the number of uh, columns is 5 sorry not 4 so it is 8 so this is a case of when number of allocations is equal to m plus n uh, minus 1 non degenerate solution so this is a non degenerate solution so we can test for optimality so test for optimality first step is to calculate the cij is equal to ui plus vj right so what i do is i find out the maximum allocation which is there so in order any of these values can be assigned zero only thing is that there should be minimum of two allocations okay so i'll take up this first one as zero so zero here zero plus four is equal to four so four cij uh, is four i assigned zero this is the balancing figure likewise i have to calculate for rest of the other cells so here zero plus three is equal to three so i come here three I should get 2 here so I have to deduct 1 so with this I come here so if I have to get 3 here 4 minus 1 correct so with this I go here and two, 4 plus 2 is 6 so going here I, I have to equate this 3 so 2 plus 1 3 right so I come here so it will be if I have to get 5 here I have to add 4 so if I have to get 3 here I have to deduct 1 so this is how I arrive at the UI and VJ values now the next step is to arrive at the DIJ so test of optimality is a solution is said to be optimal if all the DIJ is either 0 or equal to 0 so what is the formula to calculate G DIJ DIJ is equal to so the formula to compute the dij is equal to cij minus of ui plus vj now let us calculate the dij values for unallocated cells so dij values are written within the brackets right so here if i go with this particular cell so here i have dij to be cij to be minus 1 right so minus of 0 plus 4 
so that is equal to here minus 3 so this is how we calculate for rest of the others so 2 minus 1 so it is 1 here here it is uh, minus 1 so 6 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so I get 7 here so it will be 3 5 minus 3 is 2 if you observe here the dag values are written within the brackets 4 plus 2 is 6 so 3 minus 6 is minus 3 then here it is 3 plus 2 is 5 5 minus 5 is 0 now coming here okay uh, 1 minus 1 uh, is 0 0 right 4 minus 0 is 4 positive value so here minus 2 so 5 of minus of minus 2 is 7 plus 7 so here 4 plus 4 is 8 so minus 6 3 plus 4 is 7 so minus 3 4 plus 4 is 8 so 4 minus 8 is minus 4 now if you observe here few of the values are minus so about 5 in 5 cases we have minus values so this is a, a not an optimal solution so we have to do the iterations we will have to uh, go with the next improved solution right so here 2 minus 1 1 was left over so 2 minus 1 is plus 1 so 2 minus 1 is min plus 2 plus 1 sorry so now let us work out the see out of the uh, negative values that we have we have to check with the most negative value so i will uh, just tell you about which are all the negative values minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3 minus 4 right so this is the most negative value so we have to start the uh, loop from here so whenever we do the loop we actually go with that particular cell where we have the allocation now straight away i go here after i find an allocated cell in the completion of the loop we will have to go with the cell which is having yet another allocation so here if you see i have uh, gone about since this is a northwest corner method so we actually get the loop in a northwest corner method only so here i am getting an allocated cell and when you are completing the loop it has to complete with the cell where we started so alternatively i have to put plus then minus plus minus then plus minus plus and minus if you observe here we have to go with the uh, minus sign where we have the most uh, least value okay so if you see here this particular cell we have minus and it is 5 here again 5 here minus is 20 correct so here minus is 30 so least value is 5 so what I do is I take up this okay so in the next table you will understand as to how we can draw right so here i have written the thing so now i will be taking this as a base right so here if you see this particular cells 5 is the least value okay so this will be vacated okay this is a wherever we have put minus where there we have to deduct this least allocation okay so here it is you are not put anything because this is zero right so here it is 5 since it is plus so here out of 30 i have to deduct 5 so it will be 25 and here if it is plus so i have to write 15 so it is minus here it is 15 10 plus 5 15 then here it is 0 and here it is 20 okay here is also it is 0 so here after having done the allocations now let us uh, calculate the number of uh, allocations so number of allocations should be equal to m plus n minus 1 so as i told you there are four rows and five columns right so a b c d so minus 1 so if i count the number of allocations 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it is 6 6 is not equal to 8 correct so here the allocation that we have is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 
6. Correct. So what we do is in that, in that uh, case. Sorry there was one more allocation. So this is outside the loop. So this is there. So we have to count. So here I again I have uh, allocation of 5. So if I count the number of allocations. It is 7 not 6. Sorry. So 7 is not equal to 8. So this is a case of degenerate solution. Is it not? So in case of degenerate solution. What we need to do is. We have to put an epsilon. So we put epsilon and it is indicated with E. So recently vacated cell is this right. So if you see here this is a recently vacated cell. So what I do is I put epsilon. So here epsilon is put to is allocated to the recently vacated cell. Okay, so this is how we complete the solution. So in this particular case, this is how we solve the uh, problem where we have degenerate solution. So this is about this problem. Thank you.